You've heard the phrase, hotter than a firecracker. Today, holiday goers across Texoma are experiencing that firsthand and in more ways than one. Hello there, I'm Charlie Haldeman. We'll get to Steve's forecast in just a minute. But we began in Murray County, where a lot of people were hot under the collar this morning, to say the least. Robin Beal was in Murray County today. He joins us from the Ardmore Newsroom with more on what happened, Robin Beal. Hello, Charlie. You know, a question for you. What do you get when you take thousands of out-of-towners and cram them into hundreds of cars and then put them on an old two-lane road diverted off into the Oklahoma wilderness? Well, best case would probably be slow going. Worst case would be chaos. Today in Murray County, probably somewhere in between. We've been here since 9.30 in the morning, and the line is so big. It's probably like more than two miles long. Jocelyn Vasquez and her friends wanted to get away from pavement and traffic jams. After all, back home in Irving, Texas, they've got all of that a person can really handle. So they decided on an Arbuckle Mountain retreat. But this morning when they made it to Murray County, total gridlock. Nuh-uh. Nuh-uh. We did not expect this. It's uh, 257 miles to home. This man and his wife came all the way from Kansas, only to find themselves stuck in traffic, just like everyone else. Well, we put our RV over here at the motel, and we'll hopefully can get back to it tonight. And the rising sun soon brought rising tempers. If our microphone had been any closer to this near fist fight, we would certainly have had to bleep out the sound. And then there were those with car trouble, well over a dozen vehicles succumbing to the summer heat. Jim Pittman runs the local motel, and he understands the frustrations. You know, a lot of them, they bring mom, dad, grandma, and all the kids, and they're, they're uh, come up here to a uh, small mini vacation, probably. Uh, wonderful people. I wish we could handle them better. Pittman says the problem is obvious. Too many cars and too little road. They're so overwhelmed uh, uh, up there that you can't get through by phone and you can't, you can't get near the gate to ask, and so you just don't know exactly what's going on. But in the end, maybe attitude is the most important thing. Jocelyn and her friends refuse to let a little traffic spoil our nation's birthday party. Yeah, I brought my little bathing suit. Yeah. <laughs> And yes, those were people playing catch in the median near I-35 at the Highway 77 junction near Davis. And Charlie, Turner Falls Park eventually had to close their gates to incoming traffic because management said they just couldn't accommodate any more people. They estimated there were 12 to 15,000 people already inside the gates. Robin, how are they not crammed in there like sardines now that they've closed the gates? To be honest with you, Charlie, I don't know. We never actually got inside the park today because it was upwards of a two-hour wait. And to make the 5 o'clock news, we just didn't have time to sit around and wait. But reporting live from the very spacious Ardmore newsroom, Robin Beal, First News. All right, Robin, thank you very much. It's been a year since...